So the latest XP glitch everyone is talking about consists of you using a glitch to get max money in DMZ and then exfilling from the game. Today I will explain how you can make the most out of this and actually not mislead you with pre-recorded XP screens other creators are using to fool you into thinking you are getting hundreds of thousands of XP from this current method when exfilling in DMZ with max money. Today I explain all. How's it going guys, my name is TPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I'm making this video as of right now, it is quarter past 6 UK time, the dumpster method is the latest to be nerfed, but a max money glitch does still indeed work, although it's a little harder to pull off now. It's crazy how Activision are super fast in fixing these glitches, yet known bugs which have been here since release get overlooked. Madness. Okay, so the money glitch. How do you do this? Well, firstly, you've probably heard this a million times, but you need to get yourself a medium backpack so you can stow a weapon. It's as simple as that. These can be looted or brought for $5,000 from a buy station. 5k is real easy to get so we either kill bots for the money, loot for the money or even do a contract. Once you have that money, go to that buy station and get that medium backpack. Now once you have this medium backpack, you now need to have a little extra money on you. Doesn't matter how much, but to make it easier on yourself, a decent amount of around 1000 to 3500 is great. As you need a pile, a decent enough size, so when you drop it on the floor to do this glitch, it's easier on yourself. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So with that medium backpack and that dosh, go ahead and find yourself some bots and kill them. The closer you are to a buy station, the better. You are looking for these bots to drop those gold variants weapons upon death. Now for me, this seems to work a lot easier with certain weapons. Although I could do this with every gold weapon yesterday, today it seems a little off. The LMS especially, I was struggling with and just couldn't get it to work in my first game. But it worked fine for me with the RPK. Funny enough, the second game I went into, it worked for me flawlessly with the LMS. So it's probably just a me thing. But either way, kill bots until they drop those gold weapons. Then guys, what you want to do is drop that money right on top of that said gold weapon. Now with the money centre of your screen within your crosshairs, slowly move those crosshairs so that they are on said weapon. What you want to do here though for this to work is for when that crosshair is over that said weapon, you want it to still say take cash on your screen. If you see the option which says stole weapon, then it isn't going to work. You need to be locking at said weapon it's at center of your crosshair but you still need to have the option to take cash on your screen that is the important part in getting this glitch to work now what you want to do here guys is then when you've got it right hold down on your d-pad to stow said weapon even though that option won't be on your screen if you do this right you will get a chunk of cash sometimes even hitting max cash now do this with those gold weapons bots drop until you're at max cash now you can't do this with gold weapons you have on you. So for instance, if you've picked up a gold weapon which a bot has dropped, you can't drop it on the floor and do this glitch with that. It just doesn't seem to work. It needs to be a gold weapon that's on the floor that has been dropped from an AI bot and hasn't been touched. Okay, so once you have that max money, you can like I've seen other people state, head to that buy station and max buy ammo boxes or plates. This for me didn't work a single bit though, I was probably getting like 5 XP per one. Didn't do anything for me, I was just wasting my time. But what I do tend to do is buy everything on offer from that buy station just once. I then also looted until my backpack was full. I'm not sure if this makes a difference, but I've seen that it might. Now guys, all you gotta do is exfil from the game, exfil from DMZ. Now it does I believe give you a max of 10k XP from having max money when the game ends even though it indicates to you, you get way more I think it is capped at 10k but what I was doing was and I did this three times is what I've explained to you today I was getting upwards of 30k XP every time I could do this literally every 10 to 15 minutes and this right here is realistically what the current XP glitches and methods will reward you. Now if any other methods are found, I'll be sure to bring you them right here on my channel. These are patched quite quickly though, so you may just want to sub and turn those notifications on to take advantage of any new ones when they come. But yeah, there we have it guys, the, well, the latest XP glitch within DMZ. 
working at the moment guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i'll see you on that next one